Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Hold up. I'm mad close to the screen. Let me get that ring. Let me get that ring. I'm doing well. Out my nose and everything. How are you? Man, How are you? Man, I'm doing well. Thanks for, for being on the You Know Desi show. Um, I, I've really been paying attention to, to everything. You've been going live a lot and and uh, and different things like that. And I love uh, how your profile says aspire and inspire is also. So um, for the audience who don't know who you are and what you do, uh, please tell them. I mean, do you have all day? Because <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, well, I'm a uh, media personality as well as a CEO and founder of Next Generation, which is a TV and film production company, female-led. But I'm also a media personality in New York City. Um, I was a Hot 97 as a radio personality. Um, I was a digital manager for about like eight years. Um, yeah, so that, that's pretty much in a nutshell. And also... Um, freelancing and also a spiritual gangster <laughs> that's what i like to call myself uh but yeah that's what i do yeah so um so obviously you do uh several different things um i, I know a lot about the spiritual side so um how did you initially get into that side you know what it was it was just um i've been going through so much in my life within the past three four years but mentally, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it, someone close to me passed away, and that really opened me up. I started trying to figure out the answers to life. It's weird because after like a passing of someone so close to you, you tend to start questioning life, like you know, what what's there left to do? What can I do? What am I meant to be here to do? And I always knew that I had this calling in me, but I just never really um, opened up to it because to be to be real with you, you know, it's not something common within you know, our community, the hip hop community, let's say the music industry, you know, one really talks about spiritualism like that. If you yeah. talk about spirituality, they think you're crazy. Um, so it wasn't until like about a year and a half ago was when I really dived deep into it. Um, I always knew that I was a spiritual person since I was a kid. And that's not just believing in God, but just I can't, having certain senses, having certain, I just felt different. If that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I was like, you know what, this is the time for me to just be real, be authentic to myself. We're in an important time in, in humanity right now. Um, I'm about to go deep into this, but, uh, <laughs> you know, the earth, the earth is elevating, the earth is ascending, we're really heading into this higher level of consciousness where it's about creativity, love and peace. We've been at this 3D level, which is the egotistical level, greed, money, power, all that stuff for so long. And so I felt like, you know what, this is the time for me to just own who I am, don't be afraid anymore, and just put it out there. And I was afraid, to be honest, because, you know, here I am, this radio personality, yeah. <laughs> you know, hosting my show, talking about hip hop and gossip and music. And now all of a sudden, like, all right, now she's like the spiritual guru. Like, what? But I was like, you know what, I have to, because I'm being, it's going to be a disservice for other people if I don't, so... I did, and now people are reaching out to me, asking me questions. They're tuning into my lives. Community is embracing me, so it's dope. It's really, really cool. And I finally feel like myself. I yeah. finally feel like I, you know, I am who I am, and I'm happy where I am right now. Yeah, and and how do you balance that um, that energy? Because uh, I know you still do media and, and things like that. So how do you balance that out with the spiritual side? I go a lot on my instinct. Now when opportunities come to me, see back in the day, I've been doing this for about 11 years now. I've been in this for about 11 years now. And back in the day, you know, when you're starting out, you're hustling, you're grinding, you're taking any opportunity you can. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to do for experience, right? Now I'm very selective. If something doesn't feel right with me, I've turned down a lot of offers for money, TV, all that stuff, because it just didn't sit right with me. Because I want to, if I'm going to attach myself to a project or just to any, make a commitment, it has to sit well with me. I have to believe in it. And if I don't, ain't no way, no amount of money in the world, and I've turned down a lot, will make yeah. me rock. You know, it's just, in my spirit, it wouldn't feel right. And if it's not sitting well in my spirit, and it's everybody out there too, it's not going to present itself correctly. It's not going to work out in the end anyway. So yeah. that's how I kind of navigate. If it doesn't feel right, it's not. 
Yeah, and, and I'm real big on, on you know, all money hitting good money. And then I'm also real big on, like, energy, even from the standpoint of if, like, somebody's calling me, like, you know how you can look at a text message or a call and it's like, oh, hey, what's going on? Versus, like, oh, what do they want? You know, and sometimes it can be family. It can yeah. be very close yeah. to and you're like man that energy just isn't sitting right so i don't really want to deal with this person on that level and it, and you know you have to take that to working with clients and doing business as well yes and speaking of energy i'm glad you brought that up like a lot of people don't understand or realize that like we're energetic beings we exude energy it's a scientific fact it's not like a spiritual holistic thing it's a fact though we operate off energy the world operates off energy so when you're feeling like something is off, when you feel like or something is right, or you have a certain feeling when someone calls you, whatever, that's your like instinctive in intuition. That's you and your energy saying, this isn't it. This, is, this isn't the right, or we shouldn't have this conversation today, or yeah. um, oh, we shouldn't work together, or we should. So trust yourself. You really just got to look within and trust yourself. You have the answers already. Yeah. You know, people go out read books or call people trying to find answers you're looking for guidance which is cool but if you just sit down and ground yourself and just listen and really understand and hear it you have your answers within you i know it sounds very kumbaya-ish but <laughs> it's real like i really like you know i didn't have to look anywhere else but me yeah and and it's really interesting because you know i i was speaking with someone recently and and i was looking at it like um, like at the end of the day, all the information that's coming out and things like that, it's all pretty much the same. Whether you listen to Gary V or if you listen to what E.T., the hip hop preacher or whatever, they're basically saying the exact same thing. It's just about how you're consuming the information and which one appeals to you. If you go to different churches, they're still using pretty much the same Bible. It's just about how it reaches you, you know? So usually when when you're trying to make a decision, you already know the right thing to do. You're just looking for that confirmation as you get it out of you, you know? Right. That's your intuition. That's what moves you. That's what gets you through whatever you're getting through. It's when we start connecting it up here is when we fuck up. Because up here is where you're already being interrupted with your thoughts constantly, daily. There's people telling you things, you're reading things, you're seeing things. And so everything up here is cluttered. I like to call our thoughts traffic. Mm -hmm. And so it's all about trying to navigate that traffic. And you do that through your, through your intuition, through your heart, and how you, your truest emotions. If people operated from there instead, they'd be a happier person. They really, really would. It's like when you get to your mind, you start overthinking, you start analyzing, that's when it gets convoluted and, and all messed up. Yeah, and uh, and and I'm really big on not taking in too much because like things that are going on in this country right now, um, like you want to stay informed, but you don't want to consume so much to where it affects you mentally either. Like you don't want to like watch too many videos. You don't want to watch you know, because we yeah. know what's going on with uh, with the police brutality and the protests and even with the pandemic, we do need to know what's going on, but we also need to protect our mental state at the end of the day too. 1000% like people can get entrenched in the media. And what, what, what happens is like, if you're constantly being fed this energy, you bring your vibrations down, right? To that low vibration of fear, anxiety, sadness, anger, etc. All those bad feelings are all negative energy. And what you, you don't want to do that because what happens is you keep on doing that. You're going to suppress yourself and you're going to put yourself at a low level of speaking really spiritual terms right now, but consciousness, right? And so you don't want to be at a low level of consciousness. You want to be at a high level of consciousness and it's okay to be informed. You know what I'm saying? But don't get yourself sucked into it. Like if you turn on the TV and, and one day you're just like, damn, I can't take this anymore. That's your spirit telling you, you need a break. Yeah. Don't turn the TV on. It doesn't mean you don't care any less. But that's your spirit saying it's too much. You're, you're bringing too much negative energy into you. So it's very important that with the times right now, like we just, you take mental breaks, but also meditate. I'm big on that. I do meditation Mondays on my IG Live every Monday. Yeah. I used to never believe that shit. I used to be like sitting down and still. Like, I can't do that. Yeah. Um, 
and it actually works. It works so well. So I really suggest meditating. It clears your mind. It brings you. It makes you centered. It brings that inner peace, and it brings clarity to you too. But um, yeah, don't indulge in the media too much. You're gonna freaking kill yourself. You really are. It's gonna be. Too, it's gonna be too overwhelming. It's gonna be too overwhelming. Yeah. We have to navigate our lives in a positive energy. It sounds again so kumbaya-ish, and us as beings, like we always look for up big complicated answers when it's mad simple you just have to be um positive and think like, positive and that's how you attract positivity into your life and abundance is exuding positive energy uh, yeah and, and that's what i try to try to do i try to be a realist but i also try to be uh, a, a positive person because you know how sometimes you talk to people that are really negative or they're giving you negative information. And, and sometimes it's stuff that you need to know, but that's just like um, when they say constructive criticism, like uh, people can tell you information, but it's also about uh, how they give it to you as well. Like if someone, cause you know, you want people to tell you the truth, but some people come across as haters basically. And it's like, man, you don't like anything. Like, can you, can you see the good? Like, okay, at the end of the day, people trying so it may not be perfect but at least they're trying and they're putting themselves out there versus like not doing anything you know what i'm saying that's that's what you call our, they're called energy vampires and so what these type of people do is they just go around to different people seeking validation from others to make themselves feel better and there's a lot it's like leeching on to somebody right mooching on to you like you know someone could leech on mooch on to you for money or whatever the energy is the same exact thing and so you got to be careful surrounding yourself around people like that, because the more you put yourself in that situation, the more they're going to take it out of you, leaving yeah. you negative and, and, and at low vibrations. And so it's very important that if you come across someone like that, stay far yeah. away, stay far yeah. away. Yeah. Just so, um, so going back to oh. your, your, oh. um, what was that? I say going back to the, your media side, I know you're starting kind of to put them all together. Um, what are you like currently working on? Uh, I know you have Meditation Mondays. Do you have a podcast? Do you have, you know, tell me about it. So there's a lot going on. Uh, well, first, I parted ways with Hot 97. We parted ways in December after like 11 years there. So it was a, a ch closing chapter in my life, huge part of my life, clearly. I grew up there and everything. And I can't, I'll announce it soon, but I'm joining a new company, okay. which I'm very, very excited about. It's a dream Congrats. company of mine. Thank you, thank you. Um, And then I've also been working on some, you know, film projects and stuff. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things that I'm working on and I'm excited, I'm very excited to put it out there. And it's all coming from a place of realness a coming place for my true self yeah and i'm just happy i'm in a great space right now well that's great well well thank you so much for being on the show and if people want to connect with you if people uh tune in to meditation mondays please uh tell them how they do so and when everything is happening so you can hit me at genius.jen, J-E-N. I do it every Monday. I, Wednesdays, I do Wisdom Wednesdays, where I have people from all walks of life sharing stories of inspiration and motivation to get you through whatever you're going through, to keep you, go, uh, to keep you on the right path, um, to make sure you stay true to yourself. Um, Fridays also do little giveaways, but I'm really big on the meditation and the wisdom Wednesdays because my platform, I really, really want you all to just really stay genuine, true to yourself, follow your dreams and do not let any outside noise or anyone stop you from doing that. And, um, also before I, I go, Desi, I also tell people, whatever you're going through in life, understand that it's all a lesson. I know that sounds not, whether it's a breakup, a job, you're homeless, or, you know, a health issue, it's all a life lesson. So instead of saying to yourself, why is this happening to me? Why? Tell yourself, what is this teaching me? What am I supposed to learn from this? Because we're all on this earth to learn something. So. Oh, yeah. and, and I always yeah. say, no losses, just lessons. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Absolutely. So keep that in mind. Yeah, and I, and I look forward to, I know you're going to write a book at some point, so let me know when that book is coming. <laughs>
Do you have some psychic abilities? How you know that? <laughs> yes. Yes. I already know. But uh, but yeah, let's um, connect offline as well. And I look forward to, you know, figuring out uh, what we can do together and, and working on some stuff together. Sounds good. I'm down. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. And I hope you have a nice day. You too. Take care.